Hello guys, my name is Harrisalp177 and uh, the reason why I've, well, I'm now doing this video is because I've had a very tough time just a, let's well, say, half an hour ago and uh, I'm not going to explain what happened but what I am going to say is probably the most changing part in my life that I've ever had and I don't know what to do or say but other than that you know I'm just generally very upset with what I've just been through and the person who's made me like this who's made me this upset they are pretty much not going to be a part of my life anymore and no matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how sorry they are they have bought this on themselves so if you're watching this video most for you, for you guys it's not going to be on you, it's not any of you guys as well it's basically family matters so none of you have done nothing wrong, none of you at all, if anything, you're probably going to be supporting me after this video, which at this point support is what I need because I am very, very upset with what I've just been through and uh, I don't know what to make of it. So <sighs> what I'm trying to say is This is just, I really need your support guys, if you want me to be continuing doing YouTube, you need to support me now, I'm in a very delicate state now, I'm, I am very, very, very upset, I know I have a future coming. I know I've had um, a company ask me for it. they would like me to see them for an interview, which is it is good. But after what I've just experienced, having one of my family members coming to my sister's place and gave me the toughest time in my life, literally threatening me, saying that I've stolen of them when I've solid proof that I haven't done anything, I don't know, they were all like, oh yeah, you went in a, well, I put my money on the bed, sort of thing, and, you know, I didn't even know, you know, <laughs> They said that they had went to the bank, but to be honest, I was there the entire time with them, and I didn't see them go out at all, so I don't know what's up with that, but I know I'm innocent, I know I wouldn't take out such a take. I, don't, I know I don't have such a large amount of money, even if I did I wouldn't do such a thing because I'm not that I'm not that messed up I'm not that type of person who would go that low but you know I will go low to the point just to prove to someone that I know that I'm telling the truth and I, I had a talk to my dad my dad was supporting me and my sister she was a little bit supporting me so please give them to a thank you but i need your support now guys because i may not be doing youtube for a while after this after this what's happened it's not your guys' fault but i could really 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 use your help the person who's done this to me I can't name, but 
they have scarred me for life. They have, they're making me slow every time I get abuse or, you know, I do things for them and get abused anyway. You know, I just don't know how much I can take. I've already explained to my dad and my sister what will happen if this person continues what they're going to do. And it may happen if if they don't get themselves sorted out and if they don't see the damage that they are doing on me. They are really hurting me, guys. They really are. And you guys may think, ah, oh, Harrison's fine. He's got all this money. He's got YouTube and everything. He's fine as hell. No, I'm not. I am not. I may have the money to buy games and things, but in you know, in the long run, I don't have. I don't really have the communication. I've lost touch of humanity. You know. I've literally, I'm literally emotionally broken, I, I, you know, there's, there's nothing else to explain how emotionally broken I am, you know, you know that feeling where you get so broken that you just don't want to talk anymore, like, at all, that's how I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm deeply feeling like that, and I am really 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 upset i may not sound like it but i am because 15 minutes ago i was rapidly breathing i was literally crying basically i feel like my heart has been ripped out of me and then it's been stomped on and then have its remains put back in that's how that's how fucked up I feel right now. And for the person who's done this to me, I will never forgive them. No matter how much money they say they give me, or how much support they give me, or how much love they give to me. Yeah, I regret I've done things to them that I do not want to do, that I have done, and I, I admit, that's not right, that's not good, but, when you're living with someone, each day, and every night, during every day, and every night, and they're giving you the same music, the same riddle, where they're always going to be having an argument with you, non-stop, and there's nothing you can do about it ex except from to fight back and that's been the problem for me because every time ever since I've been bullied I've had the urge to fight back and every time I fight back it seems like they get even worse you know I thought it would be right because you know when when I ended my bullying, I managed to do it through sheer force, and that, I know it sounds a bit, you know, off the top, but I did do that, and that's probably what I really do regret doing, now, it's not really something I should be happy for or anything, even though I did defeat my bullies on my own terms, but what I've learned is that no matter how hard you fight for, s for someone, there's nothing you can do about them. You know, like, take my dad for example. Sure, me and him are alright sometimes, but the only time he gets me upset is when he phones me up drunk and everything. And he ends up having an argument because he's drunk and I end up having an argument with him. But I know that that can be avoided when he's sober, but but for this person, I'm not going to mention the name, but this person, they are, make me upset every day of my life, every day I live and breathe, they give me non-stop abuse and upset, and, and I know no matter how much I try to fight, 
I cannot win against them. I cannot win. I can never win. I've done so many things. I've I've done counselling for like almost two years, I think. I even looked for shelter, and even that was not good enough. No matter what I do with this person, they always see it as a competition. They always see it as that they must win, and just they, you know, no one else, you know. But I don't know what to say to you guys, but after today, my views on this person is no more. I used to love them, no matter how much shit they gave me every day, I loved them as much as I could, and I tried my best to help them, but every time I tried to help, I got shit back, I, I got shit back. And they, they never valued my help. They never valued me. If anything, I feel like an outcast in my own family. But that's because my dad's always busy. And my sister's looking at her, her kid. Uh, my sister and my dad are great people. If you ever see them in real life, please give them a handshake because these people are the people that are keeping me to move on. These people, no matter how much my dad pisses me off for throwing up dr drunk and slowing me down or getting me distracted, and my sister gets me distracted a lot. No matter how much I get distracted, I carry on. I carry on. With the strive that I know I can do more. But ever since this day, ever since this day, I am broken. I am broken to the core. It's not your guys' fault. It's not my dad's or my sister's. I'm not going to name that person. But what they have done to me is unspeakably and no matter what they try and do now they have set this course in motion and that is their own problem this has been Hamza 177 well i'm not going to end just yet but i'm just going to say i'm just i'm going to have a bit of a very long break off youtube I don't know how long, but it's going to be a long break because after this, this day, it's broken me to pieces. It's not your guys' fault. No one's done anything wrong. It's, it's just... It's just that one person who is really broken my heart and now they're on their own they are on their own I am done helping them I am done trying what I can I have tried everything to help this person and now I've made my choice this person could fight for themselves. I am not getting involved, no matter how messed up they are. So, if you guys want me to come back on YouTube, then please give me all the support you can. But other than that, I'm probably going to be off YouTube for a long while until this, this shit gets sorted out. So yeah, this has been Harazar177, probably making my last video unless someone actually gives me support, you know, just helpful support, cheering me up, because I'm very low, very low, very upset, very, very low. 
signing off.